but in the science of hadith the scholars and the scientists and the authorities of hadith mostly they have been using the term hadith for isnad for example if the same text was reported and transmitted by various transmitters there were 10 companions who heard something from holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and all of them transmitted it reported it and that report was received by tabi'in the successors their companions so they reported the same hadith to the next generation so the now number of reporters has increased because for example if sayyidina abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu is the first transmitter of a hadith of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and maybe there were eight or 10 tabi'in successors who heard from him some of them from were from madina some of them maybe were from makka some of them maybe were from kufa some of them maybe were from basra some of them maybe from yemen from other countries other parts of the world so all of them went back to their homelands to their cities and to their countries and they reported and transmitted the same hadith to their students so in this way the number of transmitters was multiplied and then their students reported and transmitted the same hadith to their students tab'u tabi'in the successors of tabi'in the companions of tabi'in so by that time the number those who heard or those who received that hadith from tabi'in had already increased and when they transmitted that particular hadith to their students then the number was further increased so now the chains are coming into existence so somebody is receiving the same text of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's utterance his speech his act his approval the same text maybe with some difference of words somebody is receiving through this chain he is sitting in syria and he is receiving through the chain of shami jin some of the transmitters are from sham some maybe from makkah some from madina somebody received the same hadith in kufa it can be a different chain somebody received the same hadith in basra it can be a different chain so in this way the chains were increasing but the text sometimes remained the same sometimes there was a bit difference of wordings sometimes there was a little bit increase sometimes little bit decrease whatever they received from their shiuk so the scholars and the scientists the authorities of the usulul hadith they will regard because of the large number of chains they will say that there are some such many ahadith on this subject they won't say that this is one hadith they will enumerate all chains of transmitters for the same text sometimes without any difference of words and most of the time a little bit difference in the text but they will say that on this subject there are many ahadith there are 10 ahadith 20 ahadith 30 ahadith so how they count they are counting the number of hadith because of the number of chains of transmitters 
sometimes the text when we count the text the number becomes smaller when we count the chain the number becomes bigger this is how the numbers of hadith used to be counted in those days so most of the scholars always have been using the word hadith on isnad